So guys, come make some tasty coconut bake with me. To a basin, you add your flour, processor, to the flour, add your yeast, butter, cut it up in small cubes to make it easily distributed in the flour, add your wheat. I like to add plenty of wheat to my bake. Add your minced blended coconut to all those dry ingredients. Add your salt, your sugar. I add powdered milk just to make it even tastier. Combine all these dry ingredients with your butter to be evenly distributed and crumbly and soft and nice. So to the flour, you now add your water, your warm water. It could also be room temperature. You combine really, really well all the dry ingredients with your liquids. So you do a fold over and tuck method. Cover with a nice damp cloth. Let it double in size. So this part here is where I grease my hands to ensure the flour doesn't stick to my hands on a nice surface clean surface place the flour to the size that you desire for your pan place the flour on the clean floured surface I actually place mine on my bacon dish on time I oil it And this does not need to be a pizza pan you can use any bacon dish pyrex dish that you desire but i am making bake so i used my flat round dish so i fold over and combine to ensure a smooth top into a nice ball i place it i knead it really well to ensure that there is no roughness to the top just making sure it's nice and round and smooth and get my rolling pin flower my surface to ensure that it doesn't slip and move and stick to the pan press it down nicely and firmly to ensure that it distributes evenly on the pan so this coconut bake and this method can also be used without the coconuts to make wheat bake so it's totally up to you if you want to use the same ingredients and make regular roast bake If coconut is not an option, you can use the same ingredients to make roast bake, oven bake. Some places call it oven bake, some places call it roast bake. But the same ingredients apply just without the coconut. So I roll it e evenly as I can to distribute it on to the pan. And I do not like to roll it off the pan because sometimes it shrinks when you're ready to place it onto the pan. So I prefer to roll it onto the pan and ensure that it is distributed nicely, evenly. The ends does not need to be as perfect as so. There you see me slicing it so proportioned evenly as much as possible then i'll take a fork and pierce pierce it with the fork to ensure no air bubbles give it a little spin and ensure the fork is evenly distributed and in a nice pattern so it looks beautifully when i when it comes out the oven so i did enough flour to make two bake and some the option is totally up to you with how many how much flour you want to make so i really and truly don't have an exact 
measurements with how much bake I need I make but on my live I on my TikTok live I show how much I make how much flour I use and all of that specifics to the ingredients but I really and truly let my ancestors guide me with how much bake I want to put on my pan and how much flour I want to use to make how much bake I desire so this is the second bake and the same thing applies roll and tuck tuck in the ends into the center and ensure that your bake is smooth to the top round it off really well to make a nice round ball and uh, ensure that it is tucked in nicely so you don't have any puckering on the dough flour your pan and the same applies press it down nicely and grab your rolling pin and press firmly to evenly distribute on your pan so on my tiktok videos i also made hops bread and many other diy homemade recipes so you can check that out so distribute your bake evenly on my tiktok tiktok name is my name Rhea francis 299 so you can look for me on that platform as well so you then place this in the oven at your baking temperature based on your oven preference should be around 250 to 275 when it's golden in color you can take it out cut and ensure your bake coconut bake to your liking with either cheese shark fish anything that you desire even butter After this, place them in the oven for 250 or 275, depending on your oven preference. Slice and enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be aware when I upload another video. Bye.